Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Oreo Plays Things. They were getting right back into Spire of the Dragon, jumping into Aquaria Towers. This episode, we're going to knock that out no matter how long it takes. You guys are just going to have to deal with it if it runs over. And yeah, we're already on our way in. So I'll let this run. Man, these guys are assholes. So, let's chat with the world leader. Funny looking guys, Funny looking guys the stock sticks drained all the water. I don't know how these two horses are even still alive, but uh, let's help them. Oh shit, it's a good thing I can swim. Okay, so welcome to Aquaria Towers. The gimmick of this place is that it hates you. Also, the water. The water is part of the gimmick. But uh, basically, stuff is hidden really everywhere and there are very few places that don't get filled up with water by the end of this and it means you can't do a lot of things until it's completely full and you've got this power up because this power up is um i believe underwater flame breath or well it's just giant fireballs which happen to be fireable underwater so that's going to be our main goal is getting the health through this hey turn around okay, come on the bright side, though, is we should be able to clear this level 100% without needing to wait until later because the fact that we fill the whole place with water means there should be no ladders. And I do intend in this session to finish off the boss of this area, which will actually be the next video, because this is the last level of this area if I remember correctly. So we'll finish off the boss of this area, and then after that we will go back, or we'll go into the new hub zone, pick up the power up there, which, you know, for money bags, climbing ladders, and then we'll come back to Summer Forest, and we'll take out the remaining uh, stuff in Glimmer and Sunny Beach. That's the plan. Whoa, okay, so be careful where you're going, Spider. So, plan's over. See these guys? These guys are assholes. We do not want to go in there without a little bit of backup. And by backup, I mean the ability to spit fire from our mouths underwater. So the sharks are bad news, stay away from them. Hot tip of the day. Next, we gotta drop down in here, and come out the inside to get up on that ledge, and up around to here. So now we can explore up here a little better. Should have known there was no money on this side, because why would there be? That would make too much sense. Pick up money here. That was a bit of weird camera. -ing. Oh, there's money behind this hole, though. No consistency, I tell you. No consistency. But, uh... So, yeah. Welcome back to Oreo Plays Things. Um, for those of you who uh, bother to actually go to my YouTube page to watch these, uh, you may have noticed I made a post on Sunday in the discussion about taking a break. And... As you can tell by me recording this, and hopefully this going live on Tuesday, uh, that didn't happen, which is good. This, this is a good thing. Um, hey. I'm not going to talk over Moneybags, so I don't give a shit about him, but, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Metal Sharks, whatever, submarine, fine, give me your fucking submarine. 100% shark proof. Okay, so that's, this is an auto travel section. I've been under a lot of stress, and a lot of people around me have been under a lot of stress, and dealing with that has put me under more stress, but I decided that I'm going to make the effort to get over that stress and do something I enjoy, that being this. So here we are, and I am not letting my stress get me down. I'm actually in a really good mood right now. I had a really good day at work. All hyped up for this. And hopefully that'll come through. Um, I don't know if I've been swearing a bunch. I've not been paying too much attention to what I've been saying. But uh, maybe I'll even be family friendly for once. Maybe I'm so excited that it bypasses my swearing. That would be pretty cool. Oh wow, this whole thing got filled up with water. That was a lot. Can I go in here and grab these two guys right here without getting eaten alive? One... Alright, I'm not dead, so that's good. 
Whoa, hey boys, don't mind me. I'm just gonna walk away. Oh god, almost got stuck. Okay, that's closed. There should be one that stays open. Oh, there it is. It's up at the top. But we finished the area already. This is a real short area if you just do the talisman. And technically, you only really need the talismans up until, like, the very end. So you could get up to, like, the last world without uh, actually bothering with a lot of the orbs and gems and stuff. A lot of the money you'll pick up along the way without having to search too much for it, which is nice. And god damn it, I need the sheep to die, please. Oh, fuck it. Give me the fireballs. How long do they last for? Not nearly long enough, but then again, it won't be long enough until it lasts forever. Oh, it's not technically fireballs, it's just like a sonic boom underwater. I apologize for making any sort of reference to sonic boom, but sometimes it just has to be done. Oh wait, uh, yep, green passageway over here. Well, I guess it does last for a pretty long time. One... Two, three, I'm like not even aiming, I'm just trying to kill things. Oh, and I got the chest by accident. Sweet. I should probably go back and recharge before I go into the other tunnel for more stuff. This section's a little bit of a goddamn it. Where it's like, hey, uh, you know how there's these sharks that uh, are invincible, and if you try to walk near them, you pretty much just die? Yeah, um, this power-up can do that, but we're not going to tell you that. I mean, I guess if you played the first game, you would know that, but if you haven't played the first game, it's not really very well explained in this one. And, I mean, I guess that might just be my opinion. Oh, I still got eaten. Did I die-die? Oh, I did. Holy shit. What a dickhead. Oh, man. Does that bring enemies back to life? Let me go check this side and see if they're still around. I think enemies stay dead. Okay, that's good. So there's only one of them around to eat, and I should come at that zone from the opposite direction. So what I'll do this time to protect my wee flesh is I'll go at it backwards, since that entire room is filled up with water. And that's what I should have done the first time. It's closer anyway. I don't know why I didn't think of it. Thanks, guys, for calling me out on my, uh, bad idea. Whoa, that was close. Damn, that was a little scary. Pick this up, and I'll double-check and make sure I got it all in a second. Just want to take out dickhead number one and dickhead number two. A pleasure doing business. Now, I think I missed one green. Yep, did. So, now that this hallway is clear, let's take a look at what we're missing here still. We're still missing a shit ton of money. There we go, now I'm swinging. And we're also missing a handful of uh, enemies. So, we've got a couple things left to do. Firstly, I need to remember how to count. Is this door number one? This is door number three. I need to go find door number one and see if it's open or not. Just in case it isn't, I'm going to bring fire with me, because maybe that'll open it, but I'm pretty sure they're supposed to open in order. Let's go find door number one, because this is the first side quest in this area. Uh, is that not it? Wait, this could be it, actually. This is door number five. Holy cow. Let's, let's check the top here. Ooh, haha, free money. Oh, a lot of free money. God damn. That's probably the most hidden pieces in this area. Uh, not counting a couple that I haven't even gone near yet, so... Okay. Sharks are dead, so we're just going to swim on through here because I don't like watching cutscenes. And I honestly don't mind the swimming physics in this game. This is a very pleasant game to swim in. Okay, so there's door number six. Where the fuck is door number... Is door number one in the other area? Huh. Ain't that just news to me? Oh, it is. You have to... Yep, there's a quest giver. Herp, derp, 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 derp. Okay, so let's pick up some money before we, uh... Before I explain what the hell's going on up in this place, don't mind the huge pink starfish or starfish seahorse. Some fish over here, they look familiar, don't they? Apparently, we figured out where the little buggers in the tiki land came from. Got a platform here to swim around. I don't know. Oh, oh, I was temporarily invisible walled. I got a little sidetracked mentally. What's up here? Oh god, no, it's Hunter. Run away. 
Okay, what else is there? How are we on money now? Damn, we cleaned right up. I think we're missing very small amounts now in this area. Check out these upper ledges just to be safe. Although we should be able to spot some when we're doing the inevitable hunter ring challenge. Because that seems to be his favorite fucking thing. But I think we're pretty much square now on pickups we can get to right now. So let's talk to this guy. We're going to avoid Hunter as long as possible. Fuck workers Hunter. Hunter's a dick. Waterworkers have kidnapped six of my children, of my children and hid them in the top of these numbered towers. He borrowed some explo- holy shit. Dude, this guy's a badass. Why can't he save his own kids? He just stole some explosives to save his children. God damn. Alright, that's one down. Easy peasy. I don't, I don't even think the traps stay on when we swim out. Let's see. You know, safe. Featureless gray tower that we can't swim straight down in, so we have to smash our face through it the whole way. Okay, careful. Turn. Okay. Whoa, that hurt. Should have seen that coming. I don't think there's a button to swim backwards, unless... Circle? No, circle's fire breath. There's no button to swim backwards. I just have to not swim forwards at the wrong time. So that's a little annoying. But I wasn't paying attention just now, which is my own fault. And I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to go next. I don't remember what room 3 was in. Let's go find the hole down and find out. Because as I said, I'm avoiding Hunter. But by the time we finish with Hunter, we won't really care what else we have left in this level. Okay, this is 4. This is 5. 6 was in the room right after the shark, so this must be 3. Uh, please be 3? Door. Damn it, are you six? You're five. What? Is that four and six in the main room? That'd be weird. That one's definitely. Oh, that one's three. Excuse me, I'm blind. I have no eyeballs. Uh, I want to kill this guy so I have everything in the level killed, but I missed. Oh, wait, I can get him on the way down. He won't just disappear. Because why would he? He's an enemy. He's not a fucking electrical wall. Boom! Kill shot. Only two enemies left in the level. And I think at least one of them is in this tower. Nope, I'm wrong. Oh, I waited just a second too long. Damn, these things are tricky. They'll get you. But thankfully, there's a bunch of sheep in this room, so it doesn't really matter. This level is very generous with the health because of, you know, all the traps and everybody's got friggin' lightning attacks. Which is kind of weird when you think about it. Well, Trevor in the underwater is using lightning. Aren't they getting hurt just as much as you? I mean, I guess the guys in the shock suits are probably fine. You know, the guys in the underwater suits, they're probably okay. Wow, that just happened. That's my own fault. Boy, I hope I can get some health on my way over to six. Okay, take him out. Oh, I got them both. All right, enemies cleared 100%. Not that it matters. I don't think there's really any marker for uh, finishing up enemies. Is there still a sheep in here? Damn it, I killed him already. I am a monster. Uh, I think there's a sheep up here, though. Ha ha! Can't escape me, sheep. You can't escape your doom! And you know what? We'll ride money bags as a useless shark one more time, just for old time's sake. Hey, dickhole. Let me in. Hop aboard, Spyro. Kinda silly, you gotta talk to him to get in it. I mean, we paid him for use of it. He may as well just let us have the damn thing. But then again, he did part with it for an extremely low price for him. So, I guess there's that. Now, Tower 6 isn't here, but I'm still shy of health. I'm gonna have to deal with that. Okay, what have we got? A bunch of different moving electricities. Oh, gosh. Oh, double gosh. Careful. Careful. Okay, that almost went really poorly. I almost died. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it teleported me back here. Okay, sure. Give me my orb. Just give me my orb. There's three orbs in this area. I swear on all that is good in the world, if Hunter has two, on 
all that is good in the world, I will kill that freaking cheetah jag thing war. I don't know what animal he is. I'm bad. Alright, Hunter. Trying to tame my new pet manta. Alright. Alright. Yep, he has two. Hunter, I just want you to know that this is... I'm taking this as a personal slight, although that seems to be where I missed my money, so that's good to know. Ah, these stupid fucking Superman 64 bullshit. Holy cows. No, I'm not going to apologize for swearing about that, because that was the easy course. There's still another one. Mm. Who does that? Who decides it's a good idea to put two of those in the same place? Love to get him into racing shape. Bet there's a freaking flight level later on where this manta ray is just gonna randomly be flying. I'm gonna have to race him with Hunter like I did in Ocean Speedway. Whoa, where'd you... Whoa, that was a sharp turn. Okay, we're still okay. We're alright. Haven't messed it up yet. We're okay. Careful. Careful. It's really hard to make turns with an analog stick on this old of a game. It's just so janky. Holy cow. Uh, uh, oh! I'm a badass. I'm a badass. That's, that's all there is to it. Easy. And when I say easy, I mean fuck that shit. The janky controller, that is no fun. Where's the ones I missed? Over here? This is better be the last of my money. I do not know where I'm missing it if it is. Oh, thank god. Let's get the hell out of here. Where is the exit tunnel? Over here? Let's just kill a sheep while I'm thinking. Hello? Hello? Let me out! I'm trapped! Wait, is that it? Sweet. That's all there is to it. Aquaria Towers. That was actually, that went way better than I expected it to. I love that minimap. So many colors. It's a shame that colors don't really seem to have much rhyme or reason. Oh well. It didn't seem like that good of an end. I mean, for the for the horse things at least. <laughs>